Lhasa Safari's Lodge in Namibia is a slice of first world luxury in a fourth world landscape. After a hard morning's hunting big game, what better way to relax than to ping a few clay pigeons and walk up some of the local game bird, the Franklin. The clays here are designed to behave like African game birds and they are launched off steep cliffs in a challenging layout. We were discussing additional things that we could start on, our, on Snaderfi at Plaza Safari's Lodge and we decided that clay pigeon shooting would definitely fit into the, into the environment here. Um, we then obviously got the machines in, we got a gentleman from Promatic from, from England in and we decided on, on these two uh, copies which you can see in the background and we decided to try and blend them into, into the surrounding areas and this is what we came up with. Darren, as a uh, fairly regular shooter, how does this measure up? Well, it's pretty spectacular as you can see. Um, not something that you'd expect to see every day, so uh, yeah, fantastic. Um, they're pretty tall birds, aren't they? Pretty tall birds? Yeah. That doesn't mean they're six foot Swedish girls. <laughs> that means they're 40 yard clay pigeons, Darren. Yeah, it's, it's set up as a, as a sporting setup, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. And as you see, the different positions on the stand, so you get to shoot the birds oh. from, from below, from above, so it's a, a perfect setup. Uh, and you've got a variety of targets here. There's definitely a Franklin in there, isn't there? There's definitely a Franklin. There's definitely uh, our sand grass. Um, and the high bird we don't have a name for yet, but I'm sure we'll find one. <laughs> <laughs> we all give it a go, some with more success than others. Oh, lucky second shot. Lucky my ass. <laughs> <laughs> The ribbing is not helping me shoot straight. Their schoolboy behaviour forces me to say rude words after yet another miss. It must be the heat. Now, of course, we're not here for fun. Perish the thought. Darren works for Blaza and he has flown to Namibia in order to talk about Blaza's super technical shotgun, the F3. What a tough job he has. Which I bet you're going to tell me is the ideal shotgun for Franklin. Absolutely. Um, as you said, I work for Blaza. Um, this was Blaza's first true shotgun. We've made for many years combined guns with shotgun, but this was Blaza's first, first true shotgun. And it wasn't a matter of uh, looking what's on the market and how can we improve that. Blaza really went back to the drawing board and created something completely new. The main features of, of the shotgun, my CEO Bernard Knobel would say it's the trigger, outstanding trigger characteristics. My personal preference on the, on the F3 is the balance of the gun. We have a, a barrel balancer, or here a preparation for additional weights that can be put onto the barrels. And also in the stock area in here is also a threaded rod with weights on it. So I can literally, for every individual customer, adjust the balance. Um, and I see it at so many events with, with other manufacturers. Um, people put lead in their barrels, they put lead in their stocks in order to try and get the balance correctly. And this is a feature that we have as, as a standard. So let's take it out for real and see whether we can walk up Franklin. You see plenty of these birds when you're carrying a rifle and looking for big game. Of course, the moment you pick up a shotgun, they melt away into the long grass. The system here is to drive and spot, drive and spot. When you spot, you stop and try to walk up the birds. We find the first bird near a water hole. We see feathers, but the bird flies on strongly. Happily, you only have to shout bang in a threatening manner and they fall out of the sky. A hundred yards into the bush and Mark's sharp eyes spot the dead bird on the ground. I don't know if you saw the blood. We followed the blood trail on this Franklin and after <laughs> You did A not. 100 yards, uh, <laughs> we found him dead. <laughs> the second bird is trickier. It's well hidden under a tree. We try to surround it, but with only two shooters and a three-dimensional landscape, it finds the gap and plays it. When we spot the third bird, we employ the kind of stalking technique you might use on a large antelope. Darren gets up behind it and walks it round. Mark is positioned under the tree and the plan works. The bird flies over Mark, presenting him with a long shot made more difficult by the clay cartridges he is using. Again, a few hundred yards away, Mark happens on the now dead Franklin under a tree. Our second uh, Franklin for the morning. It's turning out to be a bit more difficult than we had planned. <laughs> anyway, we've got two for the putt. 
For more information about the Blaser F3, visit blaser.de. The website is in English and German. For more on Blaser Safari Lodge in Namibia, go to www.blaser-safaris.com.